Indian Premier League over the years has championed the love for cricket and sportsmanship instilled in the hearts of every Indian. However, IPL 2024 is not just set to be a cricketing spectacle but has actually transformed into a haven of marketing and networking. From food and beverage giants like Britannia and Coca-Cola to legacy brands like Parley and Dalmia Cements and even massive players like banking major HDFC and leading fantasy sports platform Dream11. IPL this year has provided a hot spot for them to demonstrate their impeccable marketing strategies and leverage it to strengthen their customer base and brand. Hello and welcome to Geo Cinema Brand Spotlight in partnership with Storyboard 18. I am your host, Delsha Dirani, and let us get into the discussions with some of these brands that are leveraging the mega marketing opportunity of IPL 2024. You know what, we're here to talk about something very exciting, the IPL season coming up. Of course, the entire country is excited. Tell me you, as a major sports fan and a marketer, how excited are you for this season, especially given the digital leap that we saw last year? See, two, two things. One, this is the biggest sporting live tournament that's going to happen anywhere in the subcontinent. So this is number one from that perspective. So for all sports fans, this is the Mecca, this is the Diwali of all the festivals that we have in India. And as a marketer, you are getting so much of audience glued on to a certain property for a long period of time. It's not a one day event, it's almost now a 57, 60 day event, wherein you will get an opportunity to get to speak to an audience for 60 days continuously on a platform where they are extremely passionate about. And as the way in which they are viewing it moves on from, say, a connected TV to a linear television to digital, the ability to target for a marketeer it becomes extremely exponential. And that combination is what keeps us very excited. Mm -hmm. So, Tish, let me come to you first. Of course, IPL, a massive platform for Coca-Cola as well as a lot of other brands. Um, let me just directly get into it and ask you, what is your advertising strategy this season? It's a big season. You know, digital, of course, has expanded the platform, IPL, the game, the sport, viewership. Uh, what is your ad strategy going into it? For a brand like Charged, we're still very new, uh, honestly, in the sparkling beverages category. So our number one priority is to continue to introduce the brand to as many people as possible. And what better platform than IPL? Um, I, I don't know what is a bigger passion in India than cricket. And to be honest, even I've enjoyed watching uh, IPL matches. The drama is always there and very exciting. So it only makes sense that the viewership would be so high. So it's great that a brand like Charged can be on IPL, uh, be able to reach uh, an even wider footprint of viewers to be able to continue to introduce itself to, uh, to the country. This is going to be the first year where we are going to put substantial amount of money on building our brand. In the past, the brand has stood for bringing sustainable practices to the sector, uh, bringing new technology to the sector. Now, this year, we have decided that we will target our brand to the consumer segment. And therefore, uh, in a way, this is going to be the launch pad for uh, Dalmia Cement brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, as you rightly said, you know, cricket is a religion in India. And IPL has taken cricket to a different level. So we thought there couldn't be a better way to start this new journey uh, than IPL. So IPL is our first focus and we will build from there on. What was the brief to the agency? It's not a, it doesn't sound like a very easy brief for the agency. Were there multiple agencies involved or was it just one that you worked with for this uh, particular season and the campaign that's going to run? But I mean, I'm just trying to imagine, you know, I mean, putting all those brands, again, such familiar brands into one campaign, it can't be easy. Yes. Tell me about the brief. Yeah. So uh, the brief uh, was, you know, to showcase, uh, as I shared earlier, uh, Parley as a corporate brand or rather, you know, uh, branded house and tie back all the brands which we are known for to corporate brand Parley. Now, uh, while that was to be done, it was, uh, it was expected and, you know, that was the brief that it should be done in a nice, uh, humorous and witty way. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be done, you know, I, typically when you look at corporate campaigns, they're very serious. Yes. The tonality is very serious. Mm -hmm. We wanted it to be, you know, humorous and witty and that's something that, you know, really uh, works uh, with a platform like IPL. 
people or consumers or viewers look forward to some really crazy advertising entertainment absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. so uh, that was the brief that you know we need to do it in a very light hearted humorous and upbeaty way mm -hmm. and that's what you know agency came back with there was only one agency uh, uh, which was briefed uh, we briefed it to a agency called fundamental mm -hmm. and they came back with this uh, particular campaign uh, and while we wanted them to do this campaign we also wanted them to weave in the values or uh, attributes that the brand is known for so as i just shared that uh, parley is known for quality mm -hmm. uh, it's known for its legacy it's known for uh, the trust that consumers have in our brand uh, it's known for the variety it's known for innovations that we have de uh, done you know over years be it cheeseling be it crack jack be it uh, hide and seek yeah. uh, very innovative products mm -hmm. or be it you know hide and seek cream where you have a cookie and a cream together so people know us for the kind of innovations mm -hmm. that we have done so these are the attributes and values which are associated with corporate brand parley how can we bring them about in our communication yes. in a nice you know fun mm -hmm. way and that's what i think they you know were able to deliver it very well mm -hmm. so they came back with this nice campaign a very humorous and a witty one where typically when it starts you would expect it to be some serious thing mm. and then it ends up you know in a way humorous or a bit mm. this year we're looking at ipl to launch several initiatives across multiple brands mm -hmm. because it's a great way to make an entry uh, into the hearts and minds of consumers uh, but our brief to them on our for our flagship uh, uh, campaign which is hungry for gold was very simple we said uh, that look india is changing uh, and the indian today the young indian today is extremely confident of winning on global stage and while all of us love cricket so deeply and we will always do that uh, but we are seeing indians excel in sporting disciplines beyond cricket mm -hmm. uh, and can we uh, create a forum where consumers not just get aware about who these champion athletes are but also interact with their sporting disciplines and that's when the real passion for the sport comes through now we we feel for cricket as much because all of us grew up playing cricket uh, you know in every nook and corner experiencing it for yourself absolutely. playing it watching it such an important part of just life absolutely yes. so so for us it was really about making sure that consumers appreciate uh, the new and emerging areas where indians are making a big mark mm -hmm. but also to experience it first hand uh, it's it's going to always be very difficult for an indian to uh, take uh, take a part in a fencing competition or throw a javelin which is going to cost more than a lakh uh, or even uh, wear boxing gloves mm -hmm. uh, but what we're using uh, right now is mobile games which every indian is so comfortable using for them to actually interact with these sports and and appreciate these sports a little more so for us it was very simple uh, and and it was the talented team that we briefed at first and then the whole britannia ecosystem came together to back it but it was really about inspiring the next generation of indians uh, to look at excellence beyond just cricket mm -hmm. and but 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 look at the irony uh, and and what better opportunity to introduce indians to those sporting disciplines but through cricket i mean this is no secret the ipl is actually that time of the year when dream 11 focus was getting maximum new users you know it's a time where uh, the entire not just the sports ecosystem but actually uh, the general population also sort of gravitates towards ipl as an event over the years the ipl has turned out to be a great platform for us to acquire new users while retaining uh, existing ones as well so i think the business challenge or objective as always was trying to see how many new users that we can try and acquire during the course of ipl our advertising and marketing strategy plays a big role i you are aware of the kind of media clutter that typically happens on ipl thanks to just the sheer level of media spends that happens so i think uh, doing something which is unique uh, true to the personality of dream 11 as a brand uh, gets a message across uh, makes people want to sample dream 11 as a brand while keeping the our brand guidelines guardrails in place which is around you know sport and cricket and fan engagement i think those were the kind of things that went as part of the advertising brief to the team uh, it usually is a long process which we start almost 6 months in advance after multiple iterations uh, this is the campaign that you've seen so far uh, early days but we've had a fantastic response and are pretty excited about it how do you sort of make sure that your creative uh, stands out right like the film with the safari for instance it's short it's it's tight it's a it's a very quick ad film uh, how do you think it will resonate with audiences you know today and the viewers that we have on the ipl today 
so firstly i think there are two three things you know which are given when you are working on a campaign for ipl you cannot have long duration mm -hmm. uh, you know creatives in the spirit of the tournament it has to be has to be yeah, <laughs> yeah. so uh, you know uh, we talking about uh, bite size or snacking content mm -hmm. uh, or ads so typically you know i think on a outer side you can look at probably a 20 second nothing mm -hmm. beyond that mm -hmm. uh, less of the better my understanding or my personal opinion is that you know you require a longer format mm -hmm. to establish those emotions you know you need to give it enough breathing in terms right. of if you are talking about you know showing somebody emoting to a particular uh, uh, you know feeling or something like that. so mm -hmm. to pack it in 20 second mm -hmm. becomes really difficult mm -hmm. the best bet that you have when you are advertising on ipl and if you really want to get noticed is to be really you know humorous or witty that's one secondly uh, not just you know humorous or witty it has to be very different it has to be clutter breaking mm -hmm. now uh, i can be humorous but so are many other ads how can it be clutter breaking i mean something that's really unexpected of course humor and wittiness has to be there but beyond that i think it should be you know clutter breaking as in something that's not expected out of an ad like this mm -hmm. or a brand so, like that or a brand like yeah. that yeah. so when you're talking about parlay talking mm. about you know uh, uh, its corporate campaign mm. the last thing that you would expect is something that's you know very witty and humorous one mm. and secondly you know the kind of uh, unexpected turn of event uh, during you know the commercial mm. so one of the commercials you know talks about uh, 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 a secret service uh, you know uh, uh, agency and they're mm. talking about whom mm. to send you know and the next thing that you hear is you know something really very humorous or witty something that would never have been expected you know by uh, viewers so i think that was the trick mm -hmm. and that's just one example but you see that across all the five commercials that we have made which bring about you know every aspect so the, the one that i talked about talks about the trust that yeah. consumers have to someone else you know some other co creative that talks about uh, the stain mm. uh, talks about uh, the quality uh, if you talk about uh, uh, the langur one or you know the safari one right. uh, it, it talks about variety mm -hmm. so you know every creative talks about one aspect or one attribute or value that brand is known hungry for gold as the name of the campaign suggests is really a metaphor for excellence at global stage. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's tied to any particular event in any in any way. But all of these athletes have made a mark across uh, the across the planet in their own in, in their own different ways. And what we really wanted to do is build find that connect between the excellence that these athletes are chasing uh, and uh, what Britannia is is most famous for. And, and as you said, uh, the biting of the biscuit or the biting of the medal is the best metaphor that we could have uh, come up with, a visual metaphor that we could have come up with. But, but the whole creative uh, uh, legacy that we wanted to build through this campaign was very simple. We wanted to keep it authentic. We wanted to bring these athletes, uh, connect with our consumers uh, in their best selves. And we know that today we have athletes coming out from every part of of country Absolutely. from the heartland of india uh, to to every geographic uh, uh, to every geographic uh, state uh, uh, province that you you can think of we've got lavlina borgoen who's uh, you know from from the northeast we have neera chopla who's from uh, the hindi heartland we have uh, swastik and chirag from the the south of india bhavani devi from from tamil nadu avinash sable from maharashtra and that was really our attempt to uh, very clearly convey that the excellence that we're seeing from Indians today, not just in sports, but in all fields of life, are coming from every milieu of the society mm -hmm. and from every part of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, so not only do we present their stories, but we also get consumers to connect with their sports. And we, our belief is that if our consumers connect with the sporting disciplines, they get to know them better. Uh, I'm sure we will we will have many more of these elite athletes in the future. Dalmia announced Ranveer, uh, Ranveer Singh as its brand ambassador. Uh, we all know how popular he is, of course, as a celebrity of choice for a lot of brands. Uh, Samir, uh, give me a little bit of insight into the decision making when it came to bringing Ranveer on board and, and then sort of tying that into, you know, some of the consumer insights that you're going to play off for the campaign. Yeah, so let me take the second part and then go to the first one. See, uh, important was for us, how do we position ourselves in this space where Siemens core proposition to any customer is strength. 
Now, when you think of strength, there are brands who articulate strength in different ways, but they all look similar. They are almost alike. And therefore, for us, it was important to figure out a way to talk about strength in a much more distinctive manner and relevant to our target audience. Mm -hmm. If you think of uh, our target audience, it is the home builder. And individual home builder is our primary target audience. And most of these home builders reside in tier two, tier three towns. So with that as our main uh, target set, we then looked at how do we differentiate on strength and with we, we spent a lot of time with the Gilby and you know based on the brief we gave them they came up with a very interesting way of articulating it which was RCF which is roof column and foundation so Dalmia cement as RCF expert now this insight came from the fact that when you look at a home the most critical thing is the structure of the house mm -hmm. the concrete which goes into building that structure of the house most of the ads which you see or the articulation of strength you see are not utilizing this uh, this uh, fact, this insight. And this is what we converted into the campaign. When we were looking at the options of which celebrity and how this can be taken to the masses, taken to our target audience in a manner that it, they appreciate both RCF and Dalmia Cement and remember both of them. That is when we, um, you know, we had many, we looked at many, uh, many actors, but we came to Ranveer Singh as our preferred choice because Ranveer has this very, you know, unique ability to get into character. And we have, we were very impressed by that, you know, that, that ability of his. And in our film, we were looking for someone who can play a role of a contractor, a contractor, which explains to this whole family that your house will be strong because your RCF is strong, your roof column foundation is strong. Mm -hmm. And we think there, that he would be most suited to tell this story. So that's how we kind of chose him. Mm -hmm. So Ritu, uh, you know, uh, of course, um, Samir made an interesting point about uh, the choice of brand ambassador as well, because you want someone, and Ranveer we know is almost like a chameleon, right? Really gets into exactly. roles and characters, despite of course his larger than life, uh, real life persona. So for, for you, in terms of the creative execution, give me a little insight into that. You know, how is it, how is it sort of, first of all, scripting that storyline, that character, as, um, as Samir mentioned, you wanted someone relatable, you wanted someone sort of, you know, get the point across. Tell me a little bit about the creative execution uh, of the campaign, and then I'm going to ask you how it was, of course, you know, working with uh, Ranveer. Okay, so I think, uh, like Sami said, the first thing that we did was we created Roof Column Foundation. You know, we created this thing uh, that is uh, very important in the structure of a house. And this is what we said, uh, Dalmia Cement is the RCF expert. So once we were done with the idea, uh, we were very sure that this idea has to be brought to life uh, with a contractor. Because a contractor is that one person you depend on when you choose a cement brand, you know, you go with the contractor's choice. And then came the question on who this contractor is going to be. Uh, and just like you said, uh, you know, Ranveer is a chameleon, right? You, uh, if you look at him in any movie, you don't look at him, you look at the character. Mm -hmm. So we wanted someone with a lot of energy, someone young who talks to a young, uh, you know, homeowner, uh, someone who's setting out to build their house, someone who's equally popular in a tier two, tier three city as in metros uh, and someone who you wouldn't expect, right? You wouldn't expect Ranveer Singh to play the role of this simpleton contractor uh, uh, because, you know, he's the superstar. And uh, so, and, and he was one person who'd never done a role like this. Mm -hmm. So we said, uh, why not get him? Because that will immediately grab eyeballs and, you know, it's not something you expect. And, you know, our whole point was to disrupt and do something that is unexpected in this category. So for a, for the kind of film or the kind of campaign that we were looking at, he just felt the right fit because he he fits in a bit odd in this. And that what that's what worked for us. When it was about choices, mm -hmm. then how should we actually creatively tell the story to our consumers? So again, lots and lots of ideas were thrown around. And then we decided that this human insight is something that we can take it forward. Now, how do you come out with a story that actually brings this human insight? 
So we wanted to go and look at celebrities who actually are being very, very typically stereotyped in their professions. Mm. And obviously, cricket and Bollywood comes the biggest in terms of uh, most followed celebrities in the country. And we found in Bollywood, there are many people who are stereotyped to do specific roles in their professional life. Mm -hmm. And now we said, okay, can we go Type ahead and casted. approach it? Type cast it, stereotype mm -hmm. saying that you are only for A or a B or a C. Said, can we go ahead and approach them and will they be willing to act like themselves mm -hmm. and say that I'm being stereotyped for this, I don't have a choice, but in life, do you have choices? Mm -hmm. So we had a long list of celebrities and then we were trying to figure out what is the one which is currently in line with our target audience mm -hmm. set of who we are looking at and looking at the entire sweep of the country in terms of South, North, East, West. And then we identified many people and finally we zeroed in on all these three of them. And to our great credit, when we actually, we have to write the script after we choose the artist. Mm -hmm. Normally, you write a script and then you choose an artist in terms of who is going to be the protagonist to play the role. Mm -hmm. Now, here you have to find out who is going to be the protagonist and then write the script in line Based with what it is. Customize what it, it exactly. to, uh, so it's a reverse essentially. It's a reverse you essentially. Went with, yeah. Tish, give me some of the highlights for you for, from, the, from this campaign, the making of this campaign, right from ideation to then seeing the final output. And we are... And it's a real sort of war cry, battle cry for the youth, right? It sounds like that and gets stuck in your head. Mind charge, body charge, it's almost like a chant. Uh, so, I mean, what are you thinking? What are some of the highlights, some memorable moments for you from the making of the campaign? And, you know, where do you see it going? Um, so there were many highlights in, in making this campaign. I think, you know, a few of them would be just the brainstorming back and forth session with Ogilvy, with Amir, with Advait, about which of the many, many scenarios we would go with. and um, Which was your favorite scenario? The, uh, hands down, the caveman. Hands down. <laughs> um, I remember uh, being told, uh, and we would, we would tell this story to each other in the team over calls, over WhatsApp videos. And um, I remember always being entertained and laughing every time, just how amazing that, that vision was of, of a guy becoming a caveman. And then to see that come into reality with the Amir Khan, like the, uh, the level of detail and care he took to get that look right um, was uh, very inspiring. Um, and the effort that came, the team coming together, because um, it, like um, Sukesh said, there is deadlines to this thing. And so everyone had to come together quickly to make it happen. So finally seeing it on screen with the saber tooth tiger um, was uh, very thrilling. Mm -hmm. So it's been a, an amazing experience. For me, the, it's fascinating still to see um, this cricketers at one uh, end getting better with their acting chops, <laughs> right? And, and that's got a lot to do with... It's, you can see it, it's very visible, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's got a little bit to do with how we write for them and a lot to do with you know the director and the production house that works with the director making them feel comfortable getting the best out of them not not really going in thinking that you know they need to be performing at a certain yeah, level yeah. but just be be, be happy who's to the best of them who's the like the people the, on this campaign specifically oh, who's the we best all have our of? favorites for me it's uh, your favorite yeah mine is uh, for the last two years has been rohit I mean, Rohit Sharma was actually in our office just a few days back as part of meeting employees at Dream 11. And one of the things I told him was that his obviously batting skills have continued to improve over the years. His acting skills have improved <laughs> considerably more in the last few years. So I think uh, unanimously, or I won't speak what for other people. What did he say to that? Oh, he said, well, you know, and, and, and I'm, the honest truth, his honest admission was that uh, Dream 11 should get a lot of credit for improving my acting <laughs> skills, you know. The first time that he acted in our ad versus today. So I think it's also the natural personality that he has. He's, he's pretty chilled and down to earth and doesn't take things too seriously. <laughs> so he's comfortable in front of the camera. Uh, and we are, we are ultimately we are using them in their natural environment, which is as sportsmen, as cricketers. Correct. So they're, they're a little comfortable. We're not mm -hmm. asking them to turn into, you know, which a lot of advertising does is turn them into another character or, or, or salesmen else. you know mm. that please please buy this that's the reason why you know this brand is paying you this endorsement money we don't do that you know you be natural in terms of what you're doing mm -hmm. and uh, so they're comfortable with that most of the uh, 
the creative script and the plot will revolve around cricket. Mm. So that makes them even more comfortable. Adash, what about you? Any, uh, who was the best actor of the lot? And uh, any, any incidents that you can share with us from, you know, from the Shiram making? Shiram stole my answer. <laughs> uh, but my second favorite would be Rishabh. Mm -hmm. Because there's something very endearing about... Uh, between all the takes, he's just constantly laughing. Because he finds what he's doing himself very funny. Uh, and then everybody is a bit more chilled out around him. I mean, they don't look at him... Uh, I mean, they look at him as a friend, you know. There's always a nice chilled out vibe on set when he's there. Uh, but also, the most mesmerizing thing for me is when you pit celebrities like Bollywood celebrities and other celebrities against cricketers. Uh, we are used to being on sets with celebs, right? Like where, you, you know, there's a there's an air in, there's a seriousness in the air that, you know, the celebs on set, we should not be wasting time, let's shoot fast, all of that. When these two guys get together, it's beautiful because the cricketer is the fan of the celebrity, uh, the Bollywood celebrity, and the Bollywood celebrity is in turn fan of the cricketer. So, like a Sunil Shetty is a mutual big admiration fan. This club. mutual yeah. fandom is fascinating, mm. beautiful. And it's it just uh, calms down everything because then everybody is just there having fun. They're glad to be there. It doesn't feel like a day of work. And uh, everybody has fun on set. Uh, what are your thoughts on leveraging the first six overs of the first game? And, and how do you think that will help your brand? I think I have a head start. And if my introduction is good, and I have a better chance for you to remember me. So I think if you, if I get to use the first six overs, I introduce myself first. And I think we have something to introduce ourselves with something which will probably stick. Mm -hmm. So if, if both kind of connect, it's a great opportunity. So anyone who goes first, you better have something amazing up your sleeve and whoever goes in here in the future also, it's a phenomenal head start, you know. It's like running a race with, uh, you know, giving you a lead, saying, "Okay, you got, you got to get, you got to get ten people before anybody else." So, it's it's wonderful, and and again, I I, I see an idea in this. Uh, maybe I I want to use it better for something next year. You know, I think it's a great opportunity if you're gonna give me six overs before anybody else. So why not? Absolutely. So it's a good opportunity, I think. And you need to have and you need to have something epic when you do that, right? Well, Absolutely, because your introduction okay. is so critical. It could be emotional, it could be fun, it could be anything. I don't know. It could be, you know, uh, world game changing and whatever it is. But it must be something that you should be at least be recalled for the rest of the over that's going to come. And that's what really makes a difference, I think. Tish, did you want to add something to that? I think you wanted to say something. No, I was going to I was gonna say that uh, I think everyone expects such a high level of excitement on those first six overs. Mm -hmm. And so the content that comes during the breaks has to match that excitement. So people are excitedly waiting to watch the match. And so we must offer uh, content that, ma you know, it has to match up. Absolutely. Yes, it has to match up. So like Sukesh said, uh, that's the time for epic uh, pieces of content to come on screen not just the first six overs, even before the match starts actually. The crunch time for a Dream 11 user is when lineups get announced at 7 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. is when the match starts. So this 30-minute golden hour, as we call it, is when people are sort of editing their teams and, you know, entering contests, you know. That's where some of these unique uh, brand integrations that we've done with the Geo Cinema team, uh, even on the broadcast, happens. Uh, the first six overs is setting the mood and tone for the match. You are seeing that, oh, uh, the, the team I have made, have I chosen the right one? Suddenly there could be an impact substitution. Oh, but I thought, you know, X or Y was opening, but that's not happening. They, they'll continuously go and check their leaderboard on Dream11 to see, oh, where I'm, how I'm performing. Uh, interest levels also. Typically, we have seen for a 20-over innings, you know, it uh, starts off high and there's a little bit of plateauing off that happens around the 10th over or so. And then again, it builds <coughs> up around the 16th, 17th over again. Uh, the slog overs, as we call them. Uh, so extremely important, those first six overs. Uh, we try and see as much as sort of advertising can be served at that time, including some of the build-up before the match starts. Mm -hmm. These conversations give us a glimpse into the massive potential of the IPL as a marketing platform for brands. Brands across sectors are putting their best ideas forward to capture the hearts and minds of a huge audience and cricket fans all over India. So stay tuned for all the IPL action and thank you for joining us today. With this, we wrap up the engaging discussions and brand spotlights that we saw on Geo Cinema in partnership with Storyboard 18. Thank you.